Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Gabe with the Hood Fan TV, man. Back at your video. Like the content, video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel, go ahead and subscribe. You know how it is, man. Ravens content coming at you on a daily basis. And today is no different, man. So, you know, it's Wednesday. We want to give the injury report uh, heading into this week. So, that's what we're going to do. The Ravens play the Bengals, obviously, Sunday night. So, let's talk about the injuries um, as it currently stands going into that game, okay? So, did not practice today. Rashad Bateman, Calais Campbell, uh, J.K. Dobbins, Justice Hill, uh, Justin Houston, and Marcus Peters, okay? So now as far as Bateman goes, Bateman is day-to-day -day with a foot injury. Uh, John Harbaugh said do not rule out the fact that Rashad Bateman could play Sunday night versus the Bengals. And since the game is on a, a nighttime game, he even gives Rashad Bateman a couple extra hours, you know, try to get ready for the game instead of having that 1 p.m. start. So maybe, you know, that'll help out and we'll, we'll see Rashad Bateman on Sunday, okay? So it's still, still early in the week, but right now he did not practice. Calais Campbell, veteran day. Since the season started, that's been the norm. Nothing different here. J.K. Dobbins is getting a rest day. They have him listed down with a, with a chest injury. But uh, John Harbaugh confirmed that they're going to start giving J.K. Dobbins the Wednesdays off, um, at least for the time being. We'll see how long that lasts. But for right now, rest day for J.K. Dobbins. Nothing to be worried about there. He's still going strong, okay? Um, Justice Hill, hamstring injury. We know that's probably going to keep him out for a couple of weeks. At the very least, considering how it looked when he went down. Um, Justin Houston, groin injury. So usually Justin Houston is getting veteran days on Wednesday. But since the fact that they're listening as a groin injury, tells him that, you know, he's probably still need some time to come back from that injury. We'll see how he goes as the week progresses. Hopefully he gets stronger. We can actually see Justin Houston this weekend. But I'm not 100% counting on it, okay? I'm going I'm to put, put it like that. Marcus Peters, another veteran day. Uh, so Marcus Peters hasn't really been practicing on Wednesdays either. That's part of you know just the rehab coming back. The Ravens are not you know not, not rushing them, not putting them out there on Wednesdays. No need to. Uh, he's pretty much will probably be limited or full for the rest of the week. But Wednesday they they just be giving them off. Um, interestingly enough, right, the, the reporter tried to ask you know Marcus Peters about you know Sunday and the outbursts on the sideline and things like that, and he didn't talk to reporters today. So Marcus Peters is on to the next, and so are we. We're not gonna talk about it no more. It is what it is. Okay. All right, so now who is limited, you know, return to action, didn't see too, but, you know, limited in practice, okay? Patrick McCarry back out there with the ankle, you know, he had an ankle injury. I believe he was taken off on a cart in that game. Uh, was it the Patriots game, I believe? So the fact that he's even back practicing is really good news. You know, I, I, you know, you see somebody go on the cart usually or can't walk off how they usually want to. Um, you think it's season ending, you know what I mean? That's what you're thinking. So it's the fact that he's out there practicing is pretty good. Um, I don't know if he's ready to come back. But even if he is, Philele probably has the left tackle job until Ronnie Stanley comes back. So, Bakari probably is back to being that sixth offensive lineman swing tackle. But we'll see how his injury progresses. All right, big news of the day, man. Gus Elwes has his first practice back with the Baltimore Ravens. And, um, you know, limited action, doing some one-on-one -on -one drills off to the side. So, now this officially opens the Ravens' 21-day window to activate Gus Edwards to the, uh, the full 53-man roster. But, you know, John Harbaugh said he looks good. Lamar Jackson had a, a, a post-practice press conference. He said, hey, he looks like Gus Edwards out there. He looks good. So that's good news for the Ravens, good news for this run game. Um, you know, J.K.'s coming back to full form. If we can get Gus back, too, obviously that's going to do nothing but boost up uh, this run game and, you know, take the pressure off Lamar having to run so much as well. You know, that's that's what we want. We want we don't want Lamar running so much. We want the, we want the running backs to do their job right there, you know. When J.K. came back, we saw the difference. When Gus comes back, I think we're going to see another difference in his, in his offense. So I'm excited for him to be back. Four participants. Uh, Josh Bynes, hip injury. He came out the game on Sunday. He was hurt a little bit. And uh, so it's good to see that he's a full participant, that what happened Sunday isn't a major deal, and that he's uh, already back full participant in practice. Uh, Ronnie Stanley, full participant, once again, ankle injury. Uh, so Ronnie Stanley is closing in. He's closing in. I, I, if I had to guess, I don't know. I think that this could be the week we see Ronnie Stanley play. I know we've been saying that for a while. Well, really, I honestly, I've been saying, you know, view Ronnie Stanley is out until the Ravens officially put him back in. But we're starting to see these full practice participation and practice starting to ramp up. It's starting to become a more consistent thing than a surprise. And that's the good part. That's the good part. You know, you don't want anybody to rush back from injury. I said, I said this previously before. Last time Ronnie Stanley rushed back from injury, he played one game and was done for the rest of the season. All right. He's taking his time. He's listening to his body. He said he feels way better than he did before. That's good. That's good. It is what it is. You can't rush injuries, all right? You can't do it. I think also with Ronnie, it's, it's, it's part of a mental game, too, you know? You you thought you was ready last time. You got out there on the field, and you 
injure yourself worse than before almost. So now you got to get over that mentally, the fact that I can trust my body, I can trust myself to be out there on the field, fully participate, and really go after it. So I think that's what it is for Ronnie Stanley. You know, it's just more of a trust factor, getting comfortable, being confident in his body. And once he's confident in his body, we'll see Ronnie Stanley again. Hopefully, we'll see Pro Bowl all pro Ronnie Stanley when we get him back. That's that's the hope. We'll see if that comes to fruition. Um, okay, so also what I want to point out is the Ravens did make a sign today, nothing major, but they did sign wide receiver Bailey Gates to the practice squad. And it, if you remember that name, that's obviously he was with the Ravens uh, throughout training camp for a large portion of training camp he was here. Um, I think he wore like number 87 before he wore like a number in the 20s. You know, he said he wore a couple of different numbers, but he was with the Ravens practice, um, th sorry, throughout training camp. Um, they cut him. I think he went to the Giants for a little bit or something like that. And now he's back on the Ravens on their practice squad. So the Ravens have kind of been shuffling through the uh, practice squad guys, trying to keep, um, you know, extra guys if, if needed. And I, I honestly, with this Bailey Gaper signing, um, to me, it's just more like another special teams guy. I don't really see him cracking anything as far as getting any snaps as wide receiver, okay? They still not even playing guys, you know, that's at the end of the roster, you know, guys that we know like Tom Wallace and things like that. Those guys still aren't even playing, so I don't think they're going to sign a Billy Gifted to play him. But, you know, he's a, pra he's a practice squad, good practice player. Um, you know, if they need him to ever be called up for special teams, he can fill in that role and do that. And I think it's as simple as that when it comes to Billy Gifted. So, this is that's the Ravens injury report for today. The Ravens are getting healthy at the right time. Um... Guys are starting to come back. Hopefully, we'll hear about Ty's Bowser practicing soon, you know, things of that nature. I still think guys like um, Ojabo or, and even Charlie Kohler are still weeks away. I'm not counting on anything them from those kind of guys. Uh, so, the Ravens are looking good. The Ravens are looking good as far as injuries goes. Um, the only person on here that I would say you're probably, you know, worried about, obviously, Justice Hill is going to miss time. You know, that's that's obvious. You know, with the hamstring injury, how he went down, he's going to miss time. Uh, Justin Houston, keep an eye out on that. All right, if he play, if he doesn't play, if he doesn't practice tomorrow, excuse me, then we probably kind of get an indication of where this is heading again for Justin Houston. Um, and I think Rashad Bateman's gonna be okay. I'm not gonna put anything out there like, oh, he's definitely gonna play, but they sound optimistic about his progress and where he's at. So I feel pretty good about the fact that Rashad Bateman probably could play this Sunday if need be. And uh, the Ravens are definitely going to need him. So I, I kind of almost expect to see Rashad Bateman out there. Hopefully tomorrow's practice, we'll see that he's maybe just even limited. And if he's limited in tomorrow's practice, then we go into another limited practice. Put him on that questionable tag as far as the end of the week goes. I will feel good about where we're heading at as far as the receiving core, okay? Um, we're going to need all the weapons, man. You know, first division game of the year versus the Bengals. It's going to be a big-time game. We're going to need everybody back. And... Um, so, yeah, man, you know, uh, the team is looking okay. We'll continue to monitor the progress of Gus Everett's and that, uh, you know, he continues to come back to full strength and full health. So that's the Ravens entry report for today, man. It's your boy Gabe with Just Other Fan TV. I'm out.